May God in heaven break all bonds in your life, protect you from evil, and release abundant blessings to you today. Starting your day with Psalm 91 is like putting on a warm protective jacket. It reminds us that God is always there looking out for us no matter what the day might throw our way. This is because Psalm 91 is a very powerful psalm in the Bible. Today, I will be revealing deep things about Psalm 91 that you didn't probably know before. And in the end, I will be praying a special prayer with you. So, please watch till the end to partake in this prayer and to have all the blessings that come with the prayer. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you to our praying community. We are not about religion here, and we respect everyone's right to their beliefs. However, we believe there is power when we pray in the name of Jesus, using the Word of God, which is the Bible. So please subscribe now and like this video. This will help YouTube recommend this video to more people who need the blessings of this prayer today. Also, feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments section during this Psalm 91 prayer. I would like to ask you to leave the names of your family members in the comments, because I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory and for their blessings. Let me ask you a question. Do you worry about tomorrow? on how you are going to provide for your family? Are you concerned about your health, your children, or your business? Did you know that Psalm 91 has the power to give you daily blessings and protection and to break many bonds in your life? Well, my brothers and sisters, you will discover soon that this powerful Psalm 91 can bring a protective blessing to your home and family if you know how to use it properly. Today, we are going to pray Psalm 91 and after praying this powerful psalm with you, rest assured that God will bless you greatly, protect you from evil, and break all bonds in your life in Jesus' name. I want you to pray this psalm with me, either by repeating the words or say it in your head so that you can have all the promises contained in this powerful prayer. Now, prepare your heart because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God in action. Please follow these instructions carefully. I want you to have a glass of clean drinking water ready before we begin to pray. You can pause this video and get one very quickly, then return to continue with the video. I will be giving further instructions on how to use the glass of water later in the video. So please stay till the end. For the best results, please listen to this prayer every morning before you do anything or start your business, because this prayer is going to determine what happens to you, your family, your health, your safety, and your business throughout the day. Listen to this prayer and repeat it throughout the week. Even if you are away from home and find yourself in a hotel, please come back to this video and watch it every day. Many members of our praying community have seen results in their lives by following the instructions on how to use each prayer. And I believe that God will answer your prayers as you follow these instructions carefully in Jesus' name. Now I'm going to pray with you this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds and family protection. So listen as I pray. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, 
No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Heavenly Father, our God and Savior, Creator of the heavens and the earth, you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, the God of provision. Your name is Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God who is in control of everything. Under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment to break all bonds in the lives of my brothers and sisters who are listening to this prayer right now. Lord, break all bonds in their spiritual life, all bonds in their family life, all financial bonds, and all bonds affecting their health. Let these bonds be broken completely and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. At this moment of prayer, mighty God, I ask you to send a strong angel with a drawn sword towards their houses to destroy every satanic operation and stronghold over their lives, their finances, their health, and their families. Every evil activity that in this person's house Every action of the enemy, in the form of conflicts at home, in the form of marital disputes, in the form of curses, in the form of trials and tribulations, in the form of addictions, touch them now with your power so that this person's house may be fully liberated and protected by your power. Let your peace that passes all understanding be restored in this home today in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word says in Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. Heavenly Father, may every curse that surrounds this person's home be broken today and fall to the ground. Every evil imagination and plot against this life, under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare it is broken. Every word written, buried, spoken to the wind, spoken by someone who wants to harm this person, I am declaring that it falls to the ground and becomes powerless now. My God, all the illnesses that have affected this person's life through some evil being or some spirits, according to your words, let those arrows that Psalm 91 speaks of be broken now by your power. Arrows of disease, setback, disappointments, and lack by the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare that they begin to fall to the ground. I declare under the blessing of this prayer that all illnesses in this body begin to disappear. Almighty Father, Psalm 91 says that you would deliver us from snares of the fowler. Therefore, I ask you now to deliver this person from all snares, from all the traps of the enemy, my God, deliver this house, deliver the family, deliver this person from the wicked man, from the sneer of the bloodthirsty people. My God, deliver this person from stray bullets, from assaults, and from accidents. Let the angels accompany this person in their going out and their coming in, on departure and arrival in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that this person will not stumble. This person will not fall or fail in their endeavor. Now we are going to make very powerful declarations. I want you to take this confession very seriously and say it from your heart. Repeat this every morning before you start your day. Wherever you are, please raise your right hand or place it on your chest. I want you to repeat these words with me or say them in your mind as you listen to this prayer on your mobile device, 
or any other means you are watching from right now, repeat after me. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, therefore I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely the Lord shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. The Lord shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I shall take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, my dwelling place, no evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways, in their hands they shall bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent I shall trample underfoot. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore he will deliver me. He will set me on high, because I have known his name. I shall call upon him, and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life he will satisfy me and show me his salvation. Now listen as I pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want you to say amen and give thanks to God. You have claimed this prayer, and I'm sure that all the promises are now yours. At this moment, allow me to pray over your glass of water. In John chapter 2, verse 9, it reads, When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. Father, you are the most powerful God who can do all things. You turned ordinary water in a water pot into sweet wine. I pray today, dear Lord, that this drinking water in the glass, presented before you by your sons and daughters, be turned into a source of healing for their health. May this water be turned into a strong force to break all bonds in their lives today in the name of Jesus. Let this water, Lord, bring restoration of peace in their homes. Let it bring open doors of financial blessings and breaking of every curse in their lives. In Jesus' name. As they drink this water, may their day be blessed and may every sickness and disease hiding in their bodies come out and never return. The God of miracles, let there be a miracle for them every day as they follow this practice of declaring Psalm 91 over their lives and drink from a blessed glass of water in Jesus' name. Lord, you said in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, and I tell you more. Whenever two of you on earth agree about anything you pray for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. I agree with my brother and my sister concerning their request and according to your promise. Let it be done for them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, you may drink from your glass of water. Make sure you finish it to receive the full blessings and answer. Watch this video every morning and repeat this prayer for daily preservation, protection, prosperity, and to break all bonds in your life because these promises from Psalm 91 are very powerful. Please share this powerful prayer with your family members and friends who you want God to bless 
so that their situation can change also. If you have any special prayer request, kindly leave it in the comment section. Write the names of your loved ones whom you want the Lord to bless or visit, and we will present them before God. We will respond to as many prayers as we can in the comments, but be assured that all the requests are presented before the Almighty God for answers. I highly recommend you watch the next video on Psalm 35. The prayer in the video is so powerful and has so many testimonies in the comment sections from our community members. I know the comments will encourage you and help build your faith also. So, please make sure you watch that video too at the end of this one. May Jehovah Rapha bless you greatly and prosper you. Until next time, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.